dudes with dreads. What's good, everybody? It's Coach Phil with Coach Phil Reacts, and I am back with another video. So we are on to the next linebacker on our double feature for today. Uh, this guy right here, he is a former guest of Deep in the Game, man. He was on episode two, so make sure you go check that one out to learn about this brother, man. He's from Ontario, Canada, standing at 6'2 out of UCLA, man. Of course, I'm talking about number two, Josh Woods. Now, Josh, later on this season, man, from the 20, in the 2023 season, man, he hit his stride, man. 45 tackles, nine uh, special teams tackles, and two interceptions. Uh, Josh, by far, man, he's got... The He's got the intangibles to be a successful linebacker. And also, I think with time, with growth and his abilities, man, he can be up there with the names of the good, the great linebackers they've had. They've had Solomon Element. They've also had Adam Big Hill. Those are, that's a standard to live up to, man. God has won MOP and Most Outstanding Defensive Player in one season. And also a three-time Most Outstanding Defensive Player, man. So can Josh do that? I believe he can. And that's the whole point of us taking a look at his 2023 season highlights. So if this is your first time to the channel, run over there, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. Make sure you also follow me on Instagram at CoachField425. And also follow me on X, whatever the fuck Elon is calling it now at coach phil reacts man i have a 50 50 raffle going on right now uh half the proceeds will be going to uh cfl fights cancer man so if you want to be a part of that get your tickets the cutoff is april 9th i will put the links everything in my description box below or just follow me on my instagram i've got all the information up there so without any further ado let's take a look at the highlights of josh woods all right here we go Little kick, little kick. All right, Josh on special teams. Oh, fill the lane. I got to turn the volume up just a little bit for y'all. Oh, this is good. I like when they got this angle. Pick. <laughs> oh, this is the game against Ottawa, man. The comeback. Another angle like this, all right. Josh on the outside. Oh, this, oh. Ugh. Little hit, little hit. Oh, here we go. Step in the lane and go get it. <laughs> little light, high step into the end zone. Light work, light work. What? <laughs> Alright. Alright, he's in a single mug look right here. No, he didn't lose him. Okay. I, I'm, I'm really starting to become a firm believer that dudes are really not watching the game. Because his eyes were there. He literally took a step back and <laughs> beelined it. He was keyed on the running back. Why would you say, oh, he lost him? He didn't lose him. When he stepped right, he stepped left. <laughs> like, come on. Like, oh, my God. Sometimes I, I really, really wonder if these announcers or these analysts are really watching. Like, they can talk it. Like, I'm not saying, you know, everybody, you know, everybody's not perfect. But Jesus Christ, man. Like, it's, let's go back. Let's go back real quick. Like, he literally is looking right at him. Like, watch. He's in position the whole time and steps in the lane. What are you talking about? That's his read. That's what he's... Well, not really his read. His key. He was keyed on the running back. What are you talking about? I, never mind. Re-step. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Textbook. Textbook. Reading, reading, reading. Oh! Come on now. Same thing I said about Gary Johnson, man. Angles. Okay. Alright, one more. Now that's how you tackle. All right, y'all. 
let's get into the final thoughts. I know it's a little sample size for kind of pretty much what we're working with right here, but we got a little something out of this, just a little something. So let's get to the final thoughts, y'all. All right, check me out. So these are the final thoughts from the 2023 season highlights of Josh Woods. I know it was only two minutes and 30 seconds, but we can pick a little bit of what we've seen, all right? So Josh, vision, very good. Josh anticipates, but he's also disciplined. He sees it. He can key a running back, man. Let, let's let's make no mistake about that, man. He can key, he can get there. But his his preciseness of how to close the gap in between him and not and not allow him to have any semblance of breathing room to make his move, whether it's a cut, whether it's a juke, whatever it may be, he still he closes the gap very well. Ragdoll, throw him to the ground, make a play. Now, where I, what I do want to see more of when it comes to Josh, man. In, in tight situations, whether it's second down or whatever the case may be, second down, even out of first down, really, like if they're if they're creeping up and they're getting into the red zone, can Josh make the right calls? Can he make the right the right checks? Can he put everybody where they need to be? And he can do his job as a leader. I want to see the leadership, the keys, kind of be given to him over time. Set the box, set the front, do your thing, and that's all. That's where I want to see with him. I do want to. See, I hope to get more highlights of what he can do. In the past, in the past coverage, uh, you obviously see what he can do um, breaking down on a flare. But other than that, I want to see a little more of Josh. But this is just a little sample, just a little light sample of what Josh can do. So shout out to you, Josh, my dog, man. Hey, all love to you, brother, man. Hey, keep working on your game, man. Keep developing and keep getting better, man. Let's keep striving, brother. You already know what it is when it comes to uh, our relationship, brother. So that's gonna be it, y'all. Uh, comment down below what you want to react to next. I got another one on the way for y'all. And if you're lucky enough. You'll get to see it. So, continue to be great, strive for greatness, all that jazz, and always remember. I ain't through with you, bitch. I ain't through with you, not yet by a long shot. Bang. I'm going to tell you the truth. The man's in the house. The man's in the house.